Greetings, Gemini, and welcome. And I hope you're doing well. And let's jump right in and see what the cards have for Gemini today. And I hope you're um, <clears throat> bringing your own question, concern, or a challenge to the reading. And so that way we'll get clarity and resonance for what it is that Gemini needs to know. And this is coming up for your May reading. And let's jump right in. Wow, well, the Queen of Wands comes jumping out. Some fiery energy, passionate, charismatic. Uh, you're dealing with uh, some energy, uh, queen-like energy, and you got did get uh, uh, the sense of um, there's something you're going after uh, with fire, with passion, a lot of sexuality. Uh, let's see what's going on here, Gemini. Wow, well, you're, uh, the chariot is um, either going to help or um, challenge <clears throat> this uh, queen of wands. What is she doing? Where is she going? Uh, what is that energy? But you're moving quickly uh, toward a new destination where you're going to stand out. You're leaving, quote, home or leaving the familiar area to... Uh, Find your triumph elsewhere, and you're going to do it with fire and passion. And you might not even know exactly how to do what you want to do or how to get there, but you're going to take your uh, charisma and your confidence and that intuition, that fiery energy that just gets you going, and do this and take it out there. And uh, it has to do with the foundation with um, a choice in love. You could be having this partnership that is connected to some fiery energy that you feel very uh, confident about. And you really uh, want to go for that, to take um, this leadership toward uh, whatever this choice is you're making, uh, Gemini. Because what happened in the recent past was uh, the sense of the Four of Swords, where you were having to take time out to rest, to renew, to understand what is going on by tapping into your dreams or getting some rest because you might have been healing and needing to time, take time out uh, to really focus on what kind of partnership you do want or if you're in one, how you can go uh, quickly toward more passion, more desire uh, in this relationship. Because Gemini, at the crown, what your higher powers want you to see is something is coming crashing down in this situation. And so let's look at this for a moment. You start off as the way you see the question is uh, this fiery energy. It could be um, a Sagittarius that you're dealing with, an Aries, or a <clears throat> Leo. And you're going toward this triumphantly. Uh, you're leaving the comfort zone. You're going out there to something new, away from where you're known to the unknown, but you're going to be triumphant in this new project. And it's, it's going to involve um, this situation with the lovers, or with love, or with this partnership. It, has, it could be love, but it could be in work you're doing, in your career. But whatever this is, um, you're having to reflect on it and really think about it and rest and renew recently because crash something is coming right now out of your field of awareness but it's going to hit you hard gemini and something in terms of a relationship maybe with this partnership is going to come crashing down in may you might not see this coming and but you're being warned you're almost giving this information about something you've built something you've been working on and it wasn't really built on a firm foundation uh, gemini and so it's going to have to be um, looked at because what's happening right now is the two of wands. Well, you're going to take this energy and you want to move something forward. You want to take something out into the world and you've got the chariot and you've got that uh, passionate uh, queen of wands that goes for what she wants and is very confident, uh, very psychic. Uh, very in tune with what grows within her and how to help others grow toward their passions. And you're going to go toward that very quickly. And you 
have gone perhaps quickly toward this partnership, this union, and that you have um, been uh, meditating and resting, healing from whatever this is that you're thinking about at the foundation, this couple, this union uh, could be in business, but it's coming crashing down because uh, it is needing to um, be looked at in a new way. It's a reality check is coming. You're getting the truth of something and it's gonna change your whole reality. And you're gonna have to move forward and take something out there, plan something because you got the sun coming as how you see this queen and look you have this um with the lovers you see this there is the um, loving couple underneath the sun now gemini so maybe this was saying that something uh, that you have already gone through this tower and you have taken whatever energy you needed uh, you had the um, momentum to go away from that situation and to plan something new, which is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. This is the, the best card, um, Gemini, in the whole tarot. Because it brings healing, optimism, happiness, success, marriage, love. Uh, and you got the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you see this uh, healing energy after the... Um, you got after the tower comes the star. And so Gemini is saying that uh, after this crash, whatever you um, downloaded, some uh, revelation maybe, some insight that just crashed your whole world open and led to a certain kind of enlightenment. And the sun is shining and the star. So when you have uh, the sun and the star in a reading, Gemini, that is like uh, good luck. That is um, fame and fortune. That is... Those two combined gives you this a very a potent sense of a success, of recognition, in, in a broader sense. You're going to be the star and uh, have that happiness and shining success around you. And there is the nine of wands that you've been really uh, standing your ground for this. You've taken that one central uh, wand you see that the queen is holding. And you're taking that, and you have been um, going for whatever this is in your environment, um, or someone in your environment has been uh, standing their ground uh, for a long time, uh, going through the wars. You can see this in intricacy of how energy had to be used and woven together. And that's right next uh, to the sun. Uh, so something is shining and saying that, you are almost finished with whatever this is that you've had to uh, battle through. And uh, you are, have been very resilient, Gemini. And you're dealing with someone in your environment or the environment itself is very resilient. Uh, has had to keep on keeping on. And where you're going is uh, the hope and fear is this page of uh, coins, a new opportunity, a new offer, uh, a new offer in love a new offer to grow your wealth, a new offer um, to heal and move forward into this healing, happiness, success, um, inspiration, inspiring others uh, with this um, passionate energy you have. And so your advice now is to um, take this coin and you will be very abundant, very wealthy. It's, it's, this page is taking this coin that is that whole manifest world and you're going to make a lot of money, become very wealthy and you've got uh, this um, um, fame and fortune connection with the sun and the star. So, And you've got the chariot which is saying you've got the momentum, you're going after it. You might have to leave your comfort zone, leave where you're living now and move forward toward this new uh, plan that you put out there. And it has to do with a partnership, a connection. And you've rested on it and renewed and been healing in the past, but something had to come down. A truth had to be revealed or divine necessity uh, had to crash something down so you can make another plan and move into the sun and become that star uh, using your gifts and talents 
um, and shining after a very dark period with this uh, tower. And you're going to keep on going, persevering, and you have been for maybe nine years in this situation with a person in your environment or with um, this uh, project or, and how it's affecting you in the environment. And it's going to give you your hope and fear. It's a new choice, a new opportunity to grow this happiness, uh, to grow this wealth, and to be very um, fruitious with your money and your investments. And so that's what I have for Gemini. And let's see if we can get some clarity on why these, uh, why is this um, Queen of Wands here for you? What is this fiery energy? This confidence, going after what you want with passion. Um, a very psychic, sensual, attractive woman. Because the Knight of Cups, because that is bringing in a new love offer. You are um, going after something with a lot of um, passion and love and sensitivity. And uh, that's how you see yourself, is a passionate, sensual, um, vibrant, energetic, confident um, energy that is very receptive. You're receiving those qualities within your experience. And then also you've got this Knight of Cups, which is bringing in this love offer or a new idea about something um, in love. And it's, you're going to be very passionate toward this. And it's coming in fast and with confidence. And you're going to be uh, victorious and triumphant because you're um, moving away from something that was not working for you, that you felt like was just kind of uh, keeping you in the doldrums, uh, keeping you stuck, uh, keeping you in some situation that you knew wasn't serving you. And now you're getting out of this. You're using your intelligence. You're an air sign, Gemini. So you're uh, being transported from a troubled waters to a whole new world. You could be traveling, uh, uh, moving forward uh, to the unknown. And this uh, partnership is here because it's bringing you a lot of joy and happiness. You have a lot to uh, celebrate about this union uh, that you might not even see because it's at the root of the situation, a uh, Gemini. But it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and it's going to give you a reason to celebrate with friends, with uh, your peer group, with family. But you have a lot going for you in this love, in this uh, coming together. There could be a partnership or a marriage that's going to bring a lot of people together to celebrate. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, well, you've been meditating and uh, reflecting on this legacy you're creating. And you've been doing this from the um, recent past. And you have a, a happy family, a happy home, a happy situation, a, very, a, a lot of wealth in this reading, especially if you have the sun and the ace of pentacles. That is going to bring you wealth and security, happiness. And why is this uh, um, tower here? Well, the lovers is um, connecting to the tower. There's, again, something about this partnership. Uh, that uh, is crashing down, that a truth is being revealed about a connection with these two lovebirds. And this could be that these two lovebirds are the ones that are being uh, hurled out of this um, situation, the structure they built and grown. Maybe it's no longer serving them. And it's by divine necessity necessity and a blessing in disguise that this came crashing down about this a partnership something was ending something um had to come to a, an awakening and you're planning because you're working on something around your home you're moving uh, you're renovating you're working with others you're having a good time you're enjoying uh, this process of, of finding a security and creating something that will last and that you're going to be recognized for because the star um, is coming now as the tower comes again for this sun. Wow. Well, what could this be? You see how she's holding a desperately uh, a Gemini to this 
a tower that's crashing down. But maybe when it crashes down, Gemini, it will uh, bring happiness, bring joy. That this end needs to come. Uh, this partnership has to understand that something's ending because the truth is being revealed and it can't go on um, the way it is any longer. And so the structure is crashing down. And the star is here because uh, you are going to have a lot of independent wealth and abundance and you've been accumulating your wealth. And look at that um, hat and her costume and her uh, passion bird and so much fruit, fruition around you. And you're going to shine in that um, <clears throat> and bring those resources and gifts to others. And you've been uh, carrying a heavy burden fighting this battle about something from the past. Um, someone in your environment is carrying this um, heavy load with childhood trauma, perhaps, or having to deal with this uh, healing um, because of something that has come down because you've got two towers in this one reading. So something suddenly out of the blue is going to strike you. And it has something to do with uh, someone in your environment that is coming back from the past. And you're going to get news of that. And you're going to see, well, wait, maybe there's something that I have had to struggle with uh, from my past. Keep on fighting for, persevering, something um, coming in to my environment uh, through someone I'm connected to. And you're going to hope that you can move on to a whole new opportunity and take that king of wands. And now you have the queen and the king. So this divine fiery couple that go passionately for what they want. Uh, so there is this sense of an entrepreneurial energy taking leadership of this new opportunity of what you're being offered in terms of money or new um opportunity and love because you've got two lovers, a new a choice in a partnership, Gemini. But that is going to come with a lot of charisma, a lot of um, ability to take your energy and lead with it and go for where you want to uh, take this coin because you've got it right here. The advice is take this new opportunity and go for it. It will bring you a lot of abundance. And you're having that because of the devil. Well, you have to face something that is in terms of the material world uh, that is low vibrating energy around you, some uh, addiction, some entrapment, some, something that's toxic uh, around money, around uh, what it is you're trying to grow. Money itself, the devil is really just this uh, material 3D. And there's nothing wrong with uh, going for money, going for wealth, going for what we want. But it's saying that if that is um, entrapping you, is that keeping you at a low vibrating energy? Is that the only focus? Uh, and it's keeping you, um, you know, in a certain way fearful about uh, facing uh, this situation that's entrapping you, Gemini. And so that's what I have. A lot of uh, powerful cards for you today. And uh, let's just move through this quickly again. You've got the Queen of Wands and this Knight of a Cup. So it's saying that you've got a lot of fiery energy and confidence and passion and sensuality uh, toward uh, this um, new energy you have that you're going to go out there with. And you're going to take that um, love and bring passion to it because you're moving away um, from a situation that is no longer serving you and you're going quickly. You've got the way to um, move forward triumphantly and you are <clears throat> at the foundation. The lovers are coming together with happiness. Some partnership is bringing a celebration of bringing people together, just a happy time um, with others. And what is uh, coming in the recent past was this a legacy that you've been reflecting on, meditating on, 
maybe as you heal and get in touch with your ancestors, you see uh, this whole um, a bounty around you that's coming in quickly, uh, money, uh, family money to share with others or to create this legacy that's going to bring happiness to you but to many people uh, down the generations. Gemini, that's powerful. And the lovers is here again with the tower. So what is happening uh, is that there's something that's going to come into this partnership that's going to be shocking, a truth, a revelation. And it's going to um, wake you up uh, from a kind of complacency and to see, wow, why is uh, the divine powers wanting this to come down? What, are, what is that leading me to? What kind of truth is that taking me toward? Because you've been planning um, something energetically, some passion project, and you worked on it, uh, a renovation, a new home, something you're uh, building and growing and getting recognition for. But um, then suddenly comes uh, this uh, tower around this happiness, this bliss, this sun, this um, success. Something crashes into that. And then you have the star and this abundance, this independent wealth, um, an Aquarius that is independently wealthy uh, that you are seeing um, and that you're connecting to in this partnership. And you have been dealing with someone or a situation where you've had to keep on keeping on, uh, persevering, uh, dealing with something from the past, keeping on keeping on toward uh, this um, happiness of um, innocence, of something that really connects you with uh, the innocence of your past, that happiness, some playfulness. Since you've got the sun, is about enjoying life and that um, just bliss around you. And then your hope and fear is that you will take this new opportunity and go for it with passion, a new entrepreneurial job, a career change. And then it's going to lead to a big offering, a new uh, possibility to make wealth. But be careful, Gemini, that this is not linked to um, the devil that it's not linked to um, something that's uh, illegal, toxic, um, that you're afraid uh, to confront. And so uh, this situation with this new opportunity. And that's what's coming for you. And it's a, a very interesting reading. With You've got the sun and the star, so that uh, could be saying this is all leading to fame and fortune. As you look at how you're connecting with money and the devil, what is that connection with you? Are you entrapped in it? Are you letting money rule you? You rule your values. Or you're going to take this wealth and move past uh, the low vibrating energies um, or an addiction. And that's what I see. And so uh, let's get one final card uh, as the advice for um, my Gemini. And this is what you need to know. What is coming for you right now? What is it that Gemini needs to know right now? Well, you need to know this uh, number four could be important. You could be engaging or connecting to this uh, woman who is a goddess type figure, whether you're a man or a woman. You could be dealing with energies around someone who uh, is shining like a goddess who's very psychic, and you've got the Queen of Wands who is very psychic as well, and you're engaging in this sacred journey, the sacred knowledge, the sacred understanding, because you're going to be very proud of whatever it is uh, that you are working on here, of what you've gone through, of what you're creating. And um, so that's what I have for you, Gemini, and if you like the way I read, please subscribe and Let's uh, move forward and see how this month of May is going to unfold for you. But there's a lot of uh, wealth and opportunity coming. But be careful that this uh, new uh, coin doesn't have some uh, connection with the devil um, involving in, it, in that. Um, because you've got two towers coming. Something is uh, not built 
on a firm foundation and it might come crashing down for my Gemini's. But you've got so much opportunity and you've got the sun shining a clarity over your reading and bringing in a lot of abundance and wealth and independent security. And that's going to um, be enhanced because you're dealing with the star an Aquarius, or you could be the star yourself, shining. And that's what I have. And you know I love you, Gemini. And we're in this interconnected field, learning and growing uh, through these readings. And the observer always affects the observed. So you're bringing your own story here. And I hope it resonates. And if it does, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.